Good evening. So as I've said in a previous video, I'm going to be doing a... My next kit is going, or my next build is going to be a kit bash uh, attempting to make a Caprica Air Force fighter. One of the kits I'm going to work from is the F4 Phantom, which would be this one here in 148 scale. So before I go ripping into this to rip it apart, I think we'll go ahead and let's look at the box. See what's in this kit from Italeri, Italeri, Italieri. Well, he doesn't want to not pronounce that. However, uh, this is 148 scale, um, the 148 scale Phantom, because I think this is going to give me about the size that I want for what I'm going to be doing. So let's take a look. So as we get into the box here, we'll set this off to the side. There we go. Uh, typical box, box art, you know, stuff about the Phantom in multiple languages, pictures, pictures, and some color cutouts. Again, those are kind of neat. Again, something I won't be using in this particular build, but it's nice to know. So you have your instruction kit, your instruction booklet, which looks to be fairly comprehensive. You have a decal sheet, which again also looks to be fairly comprehensive. It looks to have Japanese markings, Israeli markings, uh, several others, and they look to be separated out so you can find them. I guess these are your uniform markings, and there's your, your cockpit stuff, which is good too. Uh, so those look actually, they look a little thick as I look at them from a off to the, when I, as I look at the angle, but you know, with, I have it. Let's see, let's, let's know who's there from. I don't know. So I've never used these before, so I'm not really sure what their quality is like. So I may actually end up using some of those. So we get one bag, which has a clear parts and then the main fuselage, and the second bag, which has the bottom fuselage and wings. So let's set the box aside. Let's put the kit part aside and let's take a quick look at the instruction book first. So, for a scale, da, 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 shows you some parts you're not going to need. So, uh, here we go. Give you some paint callouts already in the build. See the two kits? It looks like it goes together fairly quickly. Looks like the cockpit's sort of meh. Not really a whole lot to it. Uh, and, you know, step four, you're putting the majority of the thing together already. Um, step five is all about your undercarriage. And tow hook or tail hook. So there we go. And bingo bongo. Uh, really? <laughs> so... As, as uh, some folks would say, bingo bongo, you are done. Seven steps. Um, hmm. Pretty quick and simplistic, it looks like. Uh, so I am assuming that there is aftermarket stuff for this if you want it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like you've got maybe eight missiles here, a couple of drop tanks. Yeah, not too awful comprehensive of a of a build, but you know, I guess in one forty eight scale, it's not too terrible. Although I've seen some forty eight scales that are kind of full. So then, here you go. You get to your marking callout. So this is where your decals are going to go. Uh, your version A, your your different uh, uh, panel or your different instrument panels depending on which version of the aircraft you're going to do and your common markings and your external fire tanks your central field tanks and then some color call outs which is all right this is kind of nice so japan iaf it's a nice kind of nice uh, and then australia australia hey look at that Kangaroos going in both ways? Okay, now I'm curious. I've got to see. If 
I recall correctly. That kangaroos are going in both directions. Look at that. So an Aussie Air Force. So uh, HH. There you go. Got some decals for a 48 scale Phantom in Aussie colors. So okay. So that's your instruction book. And let's go ahead and pop open this bag first. So as I said, um, this is eventually going to be I'm not going to build it as an F4. It's going to become and look at that. They're adding a correction. Look at that. And hey Harry. <laughs> Check that out, man. <laughs> All right. So I'll drop that in here. So what do we have? And I'm going to put on my specs so I can see a little better. Here we go. So scribed panel lines are very nice, very crisp. Uh, see a little bit of mold release up there, but nothing too bad. Um, see in there some, I'm going to assume, yeah, so it's the inside of that. So that will have to be sanded off if that's, if that's going to get used. So you also have your tail fins and then we flip it over and that's your gear hub detail inside your wing your internal panel lines for your intakes now your so here's the trick so here's the thing your internal pan your internal intakes right um you're gonna have ejector pin marks inside your cowling so if you're going to I mean, it is looking in from the body angle. So if you're, so if, if this is your fuselage, you're looking this way to the inside of the cowling that's sitting here where you're going to see that. But it is very far forward and near the bottom. So eh, that would make me a little whiny. A little bit of flash there. But otherwise, I like the panel lines. They look clean. They look very crisp and clean here. So... Nice looking part there. Okay. So we'll set that guy aside. Here is landing gear. There's some flash on your sprue gate, on your sprue, but not really, I'm not seeing a lot on you. Well, okay, there's some on your part, but wait. Uh, the detail's actually kind of crisp there. So that's not bad. And then up underneath here, looks like detail for your gear. And this is f what looks like the floor, uh, your cockpit floor right there. And I may end up using this. So here's the bottom. And that's looking pretty clear. It's got a little bit of contour here which is good seeing some mold release some residue mold release residue up there scratches here but eh. uh, what looks like flash right there but it's not too terrible flash there and there's your one of the instrument panels so if you're gonna lay your decal sheet over top of that um I'm almost thinking you want to shave that off. I don't know. So, okay. So that's the under half of the fuselage. And let's take a look at the top fuselage here. So here are your clear parts. And they look like they've been scuffed to heck. Which is slightly annoying. Okay, well, yeah, so there's some scuff in there, sort of not really that clear either. So if you care, and you're going to use these, um, we may want to, see there's scratch mark there, 
Oh, that's terrible. Look at that. That just got dug out. Look at that. So, yeah. I'm not overjoyed about that one. If I was going to be doing this as the F4, I'd be looking at some aftermarket parts just to fix that. Because that's a little more than a little disappointing. But, you know, we'll make do. Because I'll make do. That's, you know, the joys of being a modeler. And so this has been twisted, but let's take a look at it. Your panel ends on your fuselage here. Looks pretty good. Actually, looks really good. So, got some dings and dents there from this thing here, it looks like. Yep. And some right there as well. So right here is where your... The, that cowling piece that we looked at earlier, that'll sit right there. Internal fan. This is stuff doesn't look too terrible. There's your engine, your engine tail, your nose cone. These ejector pin marks you're not going to see. Those are kind of eh. So that there is a nicely detailed part there, I think. It's an outside. I'm not sure what the heck that is. I'm not sure which is supposed to be there or not. Is that deep? No, it looks like, if that's deep, no. That's just got writing on it and it's all marked up. So we're going to assume that that's not anything important. So there's another floor, floor piece right there. Those look good. We're going to come back to this. this is, we're going to talk about that. In. So here is there are your seats. And you can see they've got the... That's what I'm looking for. Seat belts. Not bad. Kind of cool. And there's the underneath. And there's your cockpit and the side pieces here. So let's flip that over again. Let's look at that. Get a little closer. So, eh, not bad. The decals will take over. Well, make up for that. Ah, uh, missiles. I'm not entirely sure I like the way these go together. But, again, not that it matters to me. There's a crap ton of detail on that pylon, right? So, this is cool. So, this has... Recess panelized and actually ra actual raised rivets. Those are really nice raised rivets. Um, you see the hints of rivets on other places, like here. Those are actually raised. Those are raised as well. So it looks like wherever they're rivets, they're actually raised rivets as opposed to holes, which is kind of cool. All right. So overall, not a bad kit. Uh, you know, some, some disappointment pieces, some disappointments to it, but, um, overall, you know, not a bad kit. So that is the Italeri, Italeri, uh, 148 scale F4 Phantom. So I will, like I said, just take a look at this decal sheet, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of wondering which one of these are correcting. I'm guessing there's not really sure which one of those is correcting because we got one, two, three, four, we got four there. I guess there's a fifth that goes somewhere. So it's kind of cool. All right. So there you go. That's this kit here. F4 Phantom. And if you look at Phantom, this is this is actually not a bad kit. Uh, you know, there's a couple disappointments to it, but you know, hey. Um, not bad for a 48 skill kit. I hope this helps you out. If you're looking at this and you find that interesting and this is a subject you like, there you go. Thank you very much.